If you're gonna use AI in your work, you first need to know the answer to one very important question, which is what is AI good at? If you try to use AI for something it's not good at, well, the results won't be very good. And equally importantly, if you don't fully understand all of the incredible capabilities AI has right now, you're gonna miss huge opportunities for it to do valuable things on your behalf. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the 10 things AI is great at. Everyone who watches this video will know at least a couple of them, but I bet you, even if you're an AI expert, a few of them will surprise you. With that, let's dive in. The first thing AI is good at is classification. And this is probably the benefit of AI that you've been receiving for the longest time. Because if you've been using an email client for the last 25 years, it's probably gotten pretty good at detecting whether an email is spam or not spam. So what is classification? Classification means you have some piece of data, like an email or a document or a lead for your business, and you wanna classify it into one of multiple categories. For example, is this email spam or not spam? Is this expense a travel expense or a marketing expense? Is this lead in the real estate industry or the finance industry? Classification is use case number one. We're all familiar with it, but it's extremely powerful. The second thing AI is good at is extraction. Extraction means you've got a big piece of data and you want to extract a specific element from it. For example, let's suppose you got an invoice sent to you as a PDF and you want to extract the due date, the amount, and the vendor name. Or you've had a driver's license uploaded to your Google Drive and you want to extract the address. Or you've scraped the content of a web page and you want to extract the price on that web page. AI is really, really good at taking a bigger object, whether it's text or a web page or an image, and then extracting just the elements that you want. The third thing AI is good at is summarization. That's when you take a larger piece of text and you summarize it down into a smaller piece of text. For example, you could take the transcript of a 60 minute meeting and summarize it into the one page notes and action items. You could take a 30 minute podcast recording and summarize it into the show notes. You could take an eight minute YouTube video transcript and summarize it into just the description and chapters. Summarization is super valuable because it takes a big thing that would be hard to consume and makes it fast. And AI is really, really good at this. The fourth thing AI is good at is writing. You could ask AI to write a social post for you based on a content idea you had. You could ask AI to draft a proposal for a client based on the transcript of a kickoff meeting you had with them. You could ask AI to write a full video script based on a brief that you've outlined. Now, I do wanna mention with writing, it's a double-edged sword. If you give a bad prompt or poor instructions or generic content, the AI will produce AI slop that we've all seen. But if you give the AI a great prompt, a good brief, examples of past writing that you think are really good, it will create something amazing for you. The fifth thing AI is good at is a slightly more recent one, which is media creation. This is making images, audio files, videos. For example, AI can now generate a really nice image for a poster or a full voiceover in audio for a video you're recording, or in fact, the entire video itself for an ad campaign. Now, the quality of this does still vary a lot based on the use case. Some things that you think would be easy, like creating a simple poster for a webinar, are actually quite hard for AI, and some things that you think would be hard, like creating an amazing cinematic scene, are quite easy. But the fact of the matter is that media creation is getting better and better very, very quickly, so it's something you should definitely be trying out with AI right now. Number six, AI is so good at research. We all have this amazing research assistant in our pockets now. Whether that's coming up with a dossier on a person you're about to meet for the first time, understanding the prices or offerings of a competitor, or doing a deep dive on news in a particular topic, AI is amazing at research use cases. Okay, now we're gonna start moving into territory that I think people might not be quite as familiar with. The seventh thing AI is really good at is synthesis. Synthesis means combining multiple strands of information into one synthesized whole. For example, given a set of customer meetings over the last week, synthesize the insights of what customers are telling us about our product. Given a set of support emails or issues that have come in, in the past day, synthesize the common trends or patterns. 
given a set of announcements and launches from a competitor, synthesize their strategy into a single document. AI is really good at taking these disparate strands of information that would probably be way too much for a given person to read all of and combining them into one single useful output. Number eight is analysis. If you give an AI a spreadsheet or some data, it will often come up with strikingly good conclusions about what's going on in that data. For example, you could have AI write your weekly report of sales data. You could have AI analyze why customers have churned in the past week. You could have AI analyze the weaknesses of a competitor by listening for mentions in your recent sales calls. In all of these cases, it will not only be able to pick out individual insights, it will be able to create some commentary on top of them why that thing is or what the implications might be for you, which is really powerful as an analysis tool. The ninth thing AI is great at is grading. <laughs> like any good teacher, AI can come up with a letter grade or a score and also some rationale for that score and what you might need to do to do better. You could use this for grading applications to a partner program, grading the likelihood of a customer to renew, or grading the quality of your writing in documents or emails. Last but certainly not least, number 10, AI is a great coach. You could have AI review all the transcripts of your sales calls and give you coaching on how you could be a better sales rep. You could have AI review the content of your social posts and tell you how to write better hooks. You could have AI review the internal meetings that you're running and have it coach you to be a better meeting facilitator. AI is not just an intern that can do mechanical tasks on your behalf. AI is a very powerful coach that can give you guidance about how to perform better. So with that, you now know the 10 things AI is good at, and you have three examples of each. So you have 30 things that AI is good at just from watching this 10 minute video. If you look right now, you can see a cheat sheet of all 10. Bookmark it, save it, take a screenshot of it, put it on your desktop because we should all be finding more and more ways to use AI in our work. And a very helpful starting point is to think what is AI good at. So with that, I hope you found this really valuable and I'll see you in the next one.